What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be looking at what is build up, but more specifically, build up in locks. So let's get into it. Okay, so according to the Google Dictionary, buildup is the gradual accumulation or increase typically of something negative that leads to a problem. Now, in the case of buildup found in locks, that something could either be environmental buildup such as lint or product buildup such as styling products, etc. or a combination of the two. But most commonly, I find that the buildup found in locks is that of environmental buildup, which eventually leads to your locks looking very dull and gray and sometimes giving your hair a dirty appearance. So, as you may know, one of the reasons why I ended my lock journey was because of buildup, and with that, I wanted to take this moment to show you exactly what was embedded in my hair. So, let's take a closer look at what is possibly embedded in your locks which is giving your hair a dull, grey and possibly dirty appearance. Just take a closer look at my locks here. So, this is what is in your locks. And this is the reason why your locks look dull and grey. Do you see how the buildup is literally entangled and embedded into the hair? This is why doing an ACV soak would not have helped. Now, these environmental particles that embed themselves into your locks can be very difficult to get out as it has now intertwined itself into your hair strands over time. Which is why doing an ACV soak or ACV rinse does not work when it comes to removing this type of buildup. So, do you see why it is not possible to remove this kind of buildup using anti residue shampoos or by doing an ACV soak? This kind of buildup is pretty much a part of your hair locking matrix. However, ACV soaks are certainly good for getting rid of product buildup and some environmental buildup such as dirt. As long as the environmental buildup does not embed itself deep inside your locks, then doing an ACV soak or ACV rings can certainly help with getting rid of the buildup. And in order to get out this kind of buildup, you literally have to unravel your locks to extract it from your hair strands because your hair strands have enveloped itself into the fibers of the buildup. With that said, in my personal opinion, the best way to get rid of deeply embedded buildup is to either end your lock journey by combing out your locks or by cutting your locks. And even after combing out my locks, these particles are still entangled in my loose hair. This week I will be uploading a video every single day, so make sure you tune in tomorrow to learn some tips on how you can avoid getting buildup in your locks. I hope you found today's video very helpful and if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until tomorrow, we will be right back here with another video.